I want to hold you up. Because I know you got to go. It's just that well, I've been really feeling you, and I thought it was time I told you so. I mean, this ain't even like me. You know, I love Sister No. It's just that, well, I've never been the type to even trip on a woman like this before. I mean, usually, they'll be the ones trying all hard to get a date, and they'll be really feeling me, and I'll be like, girl, I'm straight. <laughs> The last chick I was with said, you know, I can't wait to see all this switch and you'll be the one that's all in love and that bitch won't even give a shit. And I guess she was right because I think this is it because it seems like my go around has finally come back around to me because I had to leave that shit because I can't stand insecurity and now I can't help but wonder if your phone rings and you don't pick up because you know it's me. And I never leave a message because it never comes out right. I always end up giving up and saying, well, look, just call me back, I. <laughs> I got a million opinions ready to spit every time I step up to the mic. But whenever you look me in my eyes, all I can say is, whatever you like. <laughs> and I'm tripping. It's like I'm coming down a ladder that's missing the last run because I can't help but wonder if I can make you wiggle or <laughs> giggle if I tickle you with my tongue. And I'm childish. So when I want something, it's all I can think about. And right now, I just want to take all of you into my mouth and stick my tongue out. And then go in and out and in and out till I can make it tickle. Kind of like the way I used to do that big dill pickle with the peppermint in the middle. <laughs> I was like an addict. You know I'm good at it. Just look at these lips. I'd be running to the doctor trying to get a fix, trying to kill your Tourette's ticks. Fuck, <laughs> shit, shit. <laughs> but I don't want you thinking that my attraction is just for sex. I mean, the way I feel about you is definitely more complex. I mean, I just want to chill with you. I can see me sitting on the bed, flipping the channels on the TV with everything from here on down wrapped up in the sheet. And then you be sitting across the room in one of those squeaky swivel seats, biting on the tip of your pen and writing poetry. And then for every poem I write, you could be my inspiration. I mean, we could be so close. Making love would be like masturbation. You know, when you can no longer tell whose leg is whose, or whose arm, or whose thumb. I mean, at the risk of sounding dumb, every time I see you get up to leave, it makes me want to come over to you <laughs> and let you know where I'm coming from. <laughs> Last night, I dreamed of you. And in my dream, I was ready to carry my soul to you. A veritable virgin of sorts, because I have never been touched like this before. It's almost as if my essence was born and raised and taught and trained to be the fulfillment of your fantasies, whatever kind of food you like. But in my reality, you know, kind of like in my dream, you had other plans and other schemes of going to other lands to find other queens, leaving me here, devoid of my destiny. And then the whistle blows to start the parade of all of the sisters into the place to listen to you read your new poetry. And I gotta act like it ain't phasing me. But what else can I do? You know, cry at your wedding while I sing congratulations from the last few. I thought it would have been me. <laughs> but isn't that how it always goes? You know, you can search the whole world for what's right in front of your nose. Searching too, and on my journey, I ran into you. And now that I finally realized, they said the Rio de Janeiro doesn't open until five, and so I have to say this knowing full well that you barely notice I'm alive. So, again, I don't want to hold y'all up, you know, because I know you want to get on with the show. It's just that I've been really feeling you, and I have to let you know. Yes!